Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge! And today, friends, I need all of you to take some deep breaths and understand that sometimes science takes us into unexpected places. And we really have to remember that we are here for the very bold and wonderful reason of wanting to delve deeper into mixing and matching different animal genes and seeing what creations result. We are going to further science for the pixel biology community today, and I need all of you to be prepared. Deep breaths, put on your lab coats, definitely add the safety goggles this time, and I'm not talking about for the sake of the lion. So, we're going to be mixing some of our savanna genes, once more pulling from the amazing savanna animals who are hanging out in our absolutely beautiful Suhula sands, where they have been having a great time in our planet zoo adventures. Um, and if you guys happen to know Suhula sands, you'll know that there is one animal that I love above all else. One animal that we have actually raised over $1,300 for the foundation to conserve them for. Ahem. <clears throat> the Giraffe Conservation Foundation, because I love giraffes! <laughs> I know, I know! Take some deep breaths, everybody! It's gonna be okay! It's gonna be okay! I mean, look at this! Isn't this beautiful giraffe just everything we could possibly hope for? But welcome, everyone! Uh, we do have a brand new giraffe that I did actually find on the gallery, and I am actually very impressed with how this has turned out. You can only do so much with the limitations of being able to create custom pets that are based off of either a cat or a dog model. And I feel like this one, this one here did the absolute best you could to try to create what looks like a giraffe in The Sims 4. So I want to give complete credit and like props and just claps like this is absolutely freaking amazing. We're going to save it to the library to Cher Elizabeth who has created something that is indeed part terrifying and part absolutely freaking adorable. There are other really cool giraffes hanging out down here too. Giraffe dogs. We might go ahead and just like work with some giraffe dogs in the future who, oh, this one's cute too, who look like giraffe patterning, but are not actually like giraffes. <clears throat> oh, and there's even a little giraffe zoo habitat. That's an adorable idea. But I wanted to work with one that was more or less as anatomically similar to a giraffe as you could expect. And thanks to the amazing mods that Kalino created, we actually did manage to spruce it up quite a bit. So we managed to get a little bit of a mane going on with Kalino's awesome mods, Poor Horses. We also added on some hooves to our giraffe and we have a specialized tail and we have this creature, this creation. Don't look too closely at all of it or especially the eyes but you know what i'm gonna be ridiculously excited because we finally have the opportunity to ask ourselves if we mixed and matched some giraffe genes with lion genes or genes from some of our other animals amongst our adventures what would the results be no doubt my friends something that is going to be absolutely amazing for the championship round of our wonderful genetics challenge which is actually going to come up this weekend i think like we're probably going to do a championship round at least once a month maybe more than that so this weekend i'm going to actually be going through all of the animals that we have made over the past month and picking out some of my favorites to see what kind of babies they would end up having it's going to be awesome if you guys see a baby created today that you think would be absolutely perfect to have as our champion for the laboratory challenge then definitely let me know in the comments and as usual if you guys would like to become one of these wonderful creations like apostos and everything here <laughs> then all you guys need to do is leave some comments down below but all right we're not even going to pretend that this is a love match on the savannah because that's definitely going to be stretching it instead we are going to say that both of these animals have stepped into the lab today because they are being tested we're taking samples we're collecting their dna we're running their blood making sure they're healthy making sure they're parasite free or at least low parasite load and then releasing them back into the wilds of suhula San safari to live out their natural lives Apostolos, I also love your name. I might keep that name for a lion in our Suhula Sand Safari because that's awesome. Uh, and, you know, one of our lab techs kind of got a little curious and decided to take everything 
and Apostolos' genes and mix them in our gene mixer! So over to the Petri dish, friends. <laughs> We're gonna have to roll the dice of destiny to see if we inherit the main. Uh, we'll do the main and the, the hooves, basically, for whatever we create. And we're going to continue to randomize any of their babies until we get either the lion or the giraffe coat color. So if we get any other coat color except like pure white for saying that it's an albino, we're going to just keep going. So all right, guys, you ready for this? I, I really don't know if I am. All right. <gasps> oh, so cute. Again, don't look too closely at the eyes. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Everything is going to be okay. All right, let's mix in those lion jeans, and then we're gonna randomize until either a giraffe or a lion pattern appears. Oh, wait, 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 oh, back up. It was a lion pattern up first. So welcome, welcome to little Dark. Hello, Dark. Aren't you so freaking cute? Now, who knows what you're gonna grow up into. Also, you cannot produce milk and you cannot produce wool, but you can be friendly, vocal, and a glutton. So welcome, little dark. If you grow up to look more like a giraffe or a lion, remains yet to be seen. Already, it looks like we have some very interesting jaw structures and very interesting skull structure going on on this little one. The uh, results from our Petri dishes, already quite fascinating. All right, let's go ahead and mix the next one and roll it right out of the Petri dish. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. We might have to make a lot of giraffe mixes. I love giraffes. Favorite animal. <gasps> right off the bat, we get a beautiful lion. Let me pull up another one of your guys' names. And this is going to be little Kaylee. Kaylee, I love the idea of mixing a dingo and a coyote. Let me actually add that into my big list of names or big list of mixes really quickly. I have like this huge sheet now that just has tons of your guys' suggestions for future crossbreeds. We might really have to step it up and have a little bit of a mix and match genetic summer if you ask me. Uh, but Kaylee, you are here and you are stubborn you are active and you are loyal. And for the most part right now, you look like you're gonna be a normal lion. If that remains to be true when you grow up, we'll have to see. Look at this, everything, you are amazing. Come on guys, again, like claps, 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 claps for the original creator of this giraffe because this is just, this is amazing. I cannot believe, where'd, the, where'd my other giraffe go? Who knows, it's lost to the wild somewhere. But I just cannot believe that you were able to push it this far and be that must have been so much work just to be so consistently shoving all of the sliders around coloring out all the bits and bobs to make it look like a giraffe i mean clap 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 i am so impressed all right even if the results are slightly terrifying sometimes those things happen oh and we ended up with another lion cub are you kidding me this one is going to be misfit so Misfit, welcome, welcome. There we go. Misfit, you can't produce any wool, but Misfit, you can be a mischievous troublemaker who is very jumpy and quite independent. I like that little lineup. And so far, guys, we're actually ending up with a lot of lion cubs. I'm really hoping that we'll end up with at least one or two that have the giraffe patterning, but all of them will have the chance of inheriting the giraffe's mane and the hooves. All right, let's do this again. Next little one up is, all right, let's randomize, randomize, another lion! <laughs> really? I really wanted to see the giraffe, like, coloring go all over the place, but instead we're ending up, and here is a Shiro. Instead, we're ending up with quite a few lions, but look at their skulls. I think they're going to be quite unexpected when they grow up. Um... Mm, hmm, yes, this is this is going to be interesting indeed. So Ishiro here, you are vocal, you are active, and you are independent. And so far, I think everybody in the lab is enjoying playing with all of the little lion cubs. Let's go ahead and see, though, what happens. Oh, look at that one! I'm telling you guys, I really wish we had more giraffe patterning. But we ended up with another lion! <laughs> Really? It's just gonna be a litter of lion cubs? <sighs> Connor, welcome. Welcome to the group. Very excited to see you. You cannot produce wool, friend. However, you can be aggressive, stubborn, and a glutton, which definitely sounds like a lion or perhaps a giraffe who really wants to eat like somebody's precious bonsai trees. All right, 
And then the last little one we're going to have... Come on, draft pattern! Come on, draft pattern! I really want draft pattern! Alright, fingers crossed. <gasps> draft patterning! Woo! Uh, maybe I want to take that back, but woo! <laughs> Alright, and here we have Mim! Mim, welcome! Welcome! We're gonna actually change Mim's eyes to black. There we go. And then the trick is, you're supposed to like, not see those eyes open and just pretend that isn't happening. And here's your little pygmy giraffe! <laughs> Mim, you are playful, you are a couch potato, and you are a bit of a troublemaker. And we finally have at least one little giraffe to work with, friends. This makes me very happy, sort of. Just don't look at the eyes. Just keep your eyes closed, Mem. Keep your eyes closed. It's all good. <laughs> but all right, guys. So now that we have already released everything and Apostolos back out to the Sulahula Sand Safari, let's have all of our lab assistants work with their itty bitty babies and see what they grew up into. Where's the Dice of Destiny? Okay, I've got the Dice of Destiny ready. I have rolled the Dice of Destiny. And Dark, let's see what you grew up into being. Oh! This is glorious! We're gonna have the best mixes for the championship challenge! Yes! I am so pumped for that! Okay, Dark, you did not inherit either the mane or the hooves. Bless you, bless you, bless you for being... For being whatever you are. A hairless lion, basically. So here is Dark, my friends. Um, letting us know what we might expect to see. <laughs> as we age these ones up but we want to see where these genetics can really go we want to make it as interesting as possible and so kaylee come on up my dear Whoa, look at that see kaylee is more of a balance she also has like absolutely no fur on her so really really smooth fur she also did not inherit either the mane or the hooves which is quite interesting to me so so far we just have kind of like sphinx lions really yeah we, we mostly just have like Sphinx cat lions, which isn't the worst in the world. All right, all right. And then Misfit, if you would like to go ahead, I've rolled the Dice of Destiny. And... <gasps> Misfit, you're so fluffy! Oh, I love the fluff. Oh my gosh, we really are. Like, look, 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 they look like... <laughs> they look like you, you go from having your hair all the way cut, right? Now your hair's grown out a little bit. And now it's grown back in! <laughs> All right, guys, so we have Misfit. She also did not inherit either the manes or the hooves, but again, I like the facial structure. This is going to be great for our championship challenge. And then, Shiro, you have a really unique looking facial structure compared to your sisters. I've rolled the dice of destiny once more. Oh, Shiro. Oh my gosh! I actually love him! The legs are really skinny, but look at his face! That's actually really cool to have the eyes set like that. And the nose, like there's just something really enticing. And then the fluffy face. I like this a lot. Ashiro, welcome. And you've got like super, super fluffy tail, even though you have little spindly legs. Ashiro, you kind of remind me of a Ginny Deke right now, Ginny Duke uh, or Deke, where they can stand up on their back legs and use these really, really long spindly legs and neck to be able to reach up for high branches to chew down all of those leaves. Ashiro, I think you might be the winner. Come along, friends. We need to figure this out. Who is going to be our champion? Next up, we have Connor. You're adorable. Your eyes make me think you might be it. Oh no, Connor really grew into his eyes! Look at him! And Connor actually inherited the hooves! Finally! A little bit more evidence of that giraffe lineage beginning to make itself known. So let's come on down and add on those hooves. Thank you very much. Alright, Connor. So far I still think Ashiro is the winner for wonkiness, but I say that without having seen what Mim is gonna grow up into. So little Mim, welcome, welcome. We're going to go ahead and let you grow up into whatever you want to be, and that is... Okay! Alright! Alright! Mim, you can't have a dragon tail, but you can have a little upsy tail. And Mim, you, uh, you inherited nothing. You get neither the hooves nor the mane, and thus you just look really 
unique. Hmm. Hmm. You guys, <laughs> this was definitely an experiment. This was definitely an experiment. Um, I'm not sure what I think. I, I think we have basically pushed things as far as they can possibly go by adding in this giraffe. But at the same time, I am ridiculously happy with the results that we have had because they're so unique. And I'm also very happy because I love giraffes. So guys, I think we need to try again. The lion jeans really, really, oh my gosh. Come on, Dark. Oh my gosh, I think it'd be between Dark and Ishiro. Who would you pick for your champion from this round of creations? Let me know down in the comments below. It's gonna, it's gonna be soon. It's gonna be soon. We're gonna have some good championship rounds showing up this weekend. I'm very excited about that. If you guys have more ideas of what we might be able to combine either with this giraffe or perhaps one of the many, many giraffe dogs that float about in the gallery. Uh, like this guy's really cute. Hi! then do please let me know. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!